In this problem, we're given waiting times uh, at a bank. And so we have bank A, in which there was a single line, and bank B, in which there were uh, individual lines. And we want to compare um, the waiting times at these two banks. So we're asked to compute the coefficient of variation. So the coefficient of variation is a percentage. And the bigger the percentage, the more the data vary. So we start by clicking this little box here and then clicking op Open in StatCrunch. When you do that, it puts all the numbers into StatCrunch for you. And you'll get a window like the one over here. So you click Open in StatCrunch. Again, the little box is here, Open in StatCrunch. Then you go to Stat, Summary Stats, Columns. And you left click. And you want to pick both. So in order to do that, you have to hold control on your keyboard. And then you scroll down and you look for the coefficient of variation. There it is right there, coef of bar. So you left click, and then you go down here on the bottom right, and then just click compute. And there's all the answers. So one decimal would be 6.5 for bank A. Nice work. And for bank B, um, looks like it's 24.8, rounding to one decimal. So wow, way big difference, right? Usually a difference of greater than 5% is significant. So in this case, uh, there is significantly more variation at bank B. And it says here, uh, is there a difference in variation between the two data sets? Yes, you know, usually whenever there's, as a general rule, more than 5% is significant. So I would say the waiting times at bank B have considerably less, no, that's wrong. The waiting times at bank A have considerably less variation than the waiting times at bank B, right? Because A, A is 6.5, B is 24.8, so much less variation in bank A. And A has a single line and B has individual lines, so that, that kind of makes sense. That's it.